Hi, um, I'll just grab a Happy Meal, please. <laughs> Hello, how you going, mate? Susan, what do you got there? Oh, that's cool, right? Oh, you got an ice cream cone, soft serve. I like a soft serve, right now. That's awesome, isn't it? You go for the night, how good. It's dripping everywhere, your soft serve. I think I'm gonna have a soft serve after. Between me and you. The Knights putting their muscle and star power to good use. It'll be quick, it'll be quick. It'll be quick. It <laughs> Got first time on the window. <laughs> what is this? Uh, try latte. This is your try latte? Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Just when the boys thought they were finished for the week, a surprise hill session is called. We use the hills again this year at King Edward. Early opportunity to see players throw a few curveballs at them and, and test them around the, the mentality side of what we do training wise. And when they do get to games and it doesn't get a bit tough, that they're ready for the unknown in terms of what potentially could come at them. This preseason, the players must live by the motto expect the unexpected. Every team in the NRL has 30 spots to fill on their roster. Our newest addition is Anari Tawala. Well, I just got a call from my manager and um, told me I've got an opportunity to come to Newcastle. And I, was, I was stoked and I was happy and I was excited. Having joined the team after 18 games for the Cowboys, he is player number 27 on the squad list. He drove 22 hours to be here for his first day of training. While Anari is eager to show his worth, he's not the only one with a point to prove. After all, no player is guaranteed their spot. It must be earned. The troops are on show in every session. And every effort counts. Mitch Barnett claimed the 2019 Danny Badiris medal as player of the year. While you can't question his commitment on the field, quick thinking and a caring heart has exemplified his quality away from it too. The Utes are going to then drive down to the truck and the other half of you guys will be down there unloading, putting it onto the truck, helping us sort it all out. Tonight, dozens of trucks are still trying to contain spot fires. As a Wingham boy, Helping the people of the Mid-North Coast is something Mitch Barnett feels passionate about. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Thank you, appreciate that. That's unreal. We didn't give people too much time, but to come in this morning and see people have dropped things off overnight, um, nearly brought a tear to me eye. Um, so it's, thank everyone that's, you know, played a part. Um, and it's not just, you know, it might be me going up there and speaking here now, but I promise you it's a lot more, it's a whole community and um, these people need everyone in the community to help because at this stage, you know, they're, they're devastated and, um, you know, every little thought or uh, helping hand counts. Yeah, like I said, we just had boys up there and just want to thank you, you're too kind, eh? I appreciate it and everyone up there will appreciate it. It's a big boys. With the trip planned to send much needed supplies to Wingham, Tari and Tun Curry, the entire night staff and office are on hand to pack the truck. Water coming in, water, water, water coming in. Come on, boss, turn it in, Bob. While the squad rallies for a great cause, Bo Firma cuts a lone figure with the medical staff. I was 14 weeks post-op yesterday. Can't get the volume that I need to get running through my knee yet, so just got to top it up with 
It's a bit of off-feet um, conditioning, so bike and rowing and stuff like that. Having torn his ACL towards the end of last season, the back rower is focused on his return. My quads feel like they're on fire. So it, should, it should be as full as possible. Excused from training for the day, Mitch Barnett and Josh King hit the road. That's the beauty of this game. It transcends sport. Camped out last night, got up this morning, showed Kingy around Wingham and here we are. Our local mm-hmm. policeman, Dave Abbott. I know Dave Abbott yeah, very Dave, well. Dave, yeah. He is the biggest supporter of Newcastle Knights. He's just okay. runs in his blood. Oh. Yeah. A little bit emotional, but it's great to see everyone rallying together, that's for sure. He used to put lovely love letters in my mailbox for my daughter. <laughs> oh. uh, that's the great thing about Australia. Everyone gets around everyone, so that's awesome. I don't even have Uber in here to get me there. Can't really describe, like you don't realise how affected the areas are until you come up here and really see it. You know, the drive to port um, for kilometres and kilometres, just burnt land and you know, we only scratch the surface of it really. Um, just to see some of the devastation and see how close it actually came to some houses, like you don't, you can't fathom how they were able to save some of the houses when the fire's literally at their doorstep. It's really wonderful that they care about their community, and that's, you know, I couldn't be prouder of them. As the boys work in the dry heat, today is a reminder of what's really important. Next week on Be The Player. So that one finished off, mate, pretty quick. I'll have to play the ball just there, we're going that way. Right, three, one, two, three, Bye. Bye.